woke up this morning with money on my mind. mind. I rush out, bitch, now I'm focused on your fine. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. Okay. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. Stop my shine. Stop my shine. Okay. Stop my shine. Okay. Stop my shine. Okay. Okay. Hello, you two. It's Hannah Squad, the real TDK Squad, back again with another Thoughts and Opinions video. It's your boy Travis checking in. And it is your girl Queen Key off in this thing. Take a sip of my tea. I mean my water. I don't want to sip And uh I'm gonna get a piece of my gum. Yeah, give me a pee, give me a pee, give me a pee. And we got some we got some news today, y'all. So you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. Like I said, I don't get a kick out of, you know, blasting people and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But certain people, I do. Especially when we've crossed paths before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And this is one person that when... I like to eat two pieces, y'all, at one time. This is the person, this is one person that when they found out our channel was down, our oh. channel was down, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about not even 30 seconds after the channel was down. Hell, she the one who let us in. Let us yeah, know. she let us know. Because we were sweet. Yeah, Tina, Queen Sister Tina, was posting videos and buy TNK, buy TNK, they gone, they gone. Uh, I look like they, look like they, what they gonna do about money now? And they ain't broken. Uh, well, it looks like Tina is on the broke end and is needing the money a little more than we do. Your girl Tina out here in these streets scamming. Tina is, the, Tina is the new scammer. So, Tina is creating YouTube, because I think she supposedly sold that first channel they had, mm -hmm. her and, to, uh, Terrell. She tried to sell so she really did sell that one, though. I don't know. I think it may. She might have scammed someone on that one. I just never heard anything else. She tried to say she was going to sell her Instagram at one time um, for money. So, a YouTuber hit us up. And told us that. And I'm going to throw up screenshots so y'all can see it. Tina created a new YouTube account. It was called. The YouTube account was called Tina Bando. It had 2,000 subs. Now, Tina. Now, I want to say this before we get into this. Okay. Half of this is the YouTuber got to take. They fought. The blame to we're gonna we're gonna get you we're gonna tell him that yeah because he wanted a YouTube channel so bad that he wanted it to go the quick route because y'all know you gotta have a thousand subs before you can and watch time minutes watch time minutes all this stuff before you can start mon uh, monetization mm -hmm. so he wanted it skip the that. fast way we'll skip that process this channel had two thousand subs okay let me and if it was teens it probably had the watch time minutes. Mm -hmm. See, you can't want it that bad that you would pay for pay for. Because I honestly didn't think about it first. I asked him, I'm like, why the hell would you buy a YouTube channel with only two thousand subs? He was like, you know, just wanting some shit. It's like, but then you 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 told you like, yeah, you know, the watch time and all the subs. I, I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, the monetization. So she asked for she initially asked for a hundred dollars, and. She asked for hundred dollars in this situation. She knew she wasn't get a hundred dollars, so she flexed him and she told him that somebody else, you know how the, you know how the gang go, you know, hurry up and get it because somebody else wants it. You know what I'm saying? So when he didn't act on it, she dropped the price to fifty dollars. And I guess he was supposed to go to CVS and put the money on the card or something. So he was like, "I can cash after you the money." And I'm, I'm gonna put all this up as we talk. So she said, I can, "He said I can cash after you the money." So he cash apps her the money. Mm -hmm. The fifty dollars. She says send it to my girlfriend's name. Once he cash apps her See, the money. Send it to the girlfriend name. That right, that was a big red flag for me. Why right. I can't send it to you? Right. Anytime you tell me to send something to somebody else. Um nah, that ain't right. So he's ain't supposed with it, ain't with. So he's supposed to his name is Uncle Jim TV. Make sure I get that right. Let me show you it. Uncle Jew, Uncle J U TV. Okay. So he said, so she said, send it to my girlfriend. 
So once he sends it to the girlfriend, once he sends it in to the girlfriend, no response from Tina. He says, sent it. Do you got it? She didn't even open the message no more. He says, so, so what, you scamming or something? He never heard from Tina again. After that $50. Transaction was complete. All that. So I asked him to send me a screenshot to make sure to let me know that it is Tina. And it is Tina. 156,000 follows. Tina Bando Picasso. But people going to be like, somebody could have... Hacked her. No, nah, could have photoshopped some stuff or... But you know it's not because Tina has Tina has been trying to sell YouTubes and it's her mama even on her mama channel she was saying that Tina was selling a, a YouTube channel or Instagram so now what she's doing is creating YouTubes mm. with a couple thousand subs on it and trying to bait people to sell them and get the money is it that bad over there? What we can't say. Over there, because didn't Tina supposed to go her separate ways from her mama? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I'm okay, for my decision. Tina didn't live with the mama no more. Regardless, regardless, but but yeah, but you you doing it big over there. So you say, why are you scamming people? Mm -hmm. See, one thing you can say you can say about TK is you can say a lot of shit. You say you don't like us. You can say you can't stand our channel, but you can't never say we've never scammed anybody. We don't do that. People hit us up all the time and ask us, can we pay you to promote our Instagram, promote I just tell you no. our channel? Um, only thing we used to do were paid um, music videos reactions. Yeah, we, so, yeah, we did charge for that. No, we did do like underground artists. Yeah. We but did charge for that. We never did no promotion, no YouTube promotion, none of that. I didn't never want to get into we ain't, that. We ain't into that. You know what I'm saying? We did because because first of all, I know it doesn't work. It doesn't benefit right. nobody. I don't care if I have two million followers. I get in there and say, go follow little Chico on his new YouTube channel. And ain't nobody on my thing gonna go follow little Chico because they here for me. They here for you. They're not there for little Chico. So it's like it doesn't. That is my honest opinion. It doesn't work. I don't think anybody. Gets any subscribers from from it? Facts. That's why it don't work. I mean, I I don't know, but I would like to ask somebody that done paid for that before. And How did it help you out? Yeah. yeah, did it really benefit you? Because to me, I don't think it works. If it does, let me know. But I don't think it works. Mm. Um, they not letting us know because there's still a no go for us. Right, we don't, we don't, we do don't get into that. Even if it worked on y'all, we don't get into that. Mm -mm. We we too busy into promoting ourselves before we were about promoting somebody else. Right, but um, I just wanted to put that out there because, like I said, I I, I just don't get it. Like first of all, like I say the YouTuber Uncle Drew, you got to take responsibility for this though, because certain things are called certain things are scams, and then certain things to me are not scams. Because to me it was she she did play you, but at the end of the day she didn't. Because oh, she scammed his ass out of him fifty dollars. <laughs> she scammed him out of that. But but you gotta know what you're dealing with. Too good. It's not. What's the saying? Any, anything that that sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. Yeah. Like you got like, so you got you got to understand what you're dealing with. There's no way in the fucking hell I was gonna send Tina no money. Tell her she gonna send me a channel. Because what she did was told him to email. And then didn't give him the password and stuff to it. Mm -hmm. So she's like, here with an email. Let me know when you send it so I can give you the rest. I got to delete all my stuff off and give you the rest of the information. And you never heard from her again. But, and not just saying I know Tina's a scammer. It's just that I look at people's character and what they give me. Just from her character, I'm not dealing with you with money. Right. When she... Um, bought that never broke again shit. Y'all shouldn't know then. And that's just how she carry herself on YouTube. All that acting stupid. I'm not dealing with you with no money. I'm just not. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not doing business transactions with you. Right. I'm oh just yeah, because she be petty on, and not only on YouTube, she does that shit on Facebook. Too. That's what I'm saying. So I'm not doing business with you because I've seen 
how you cooperate with people. I'm not doing business with you. So I she scammed you, but I put you as the blame for getting scammed. You was at fault for that. Like you said, you want the short route to get that monetization open. Because ain't no way I'd have paid $100 for 2000 subs. Yeah, that's like, who does that? $50. 50 of 2000 subs. I'm and these up. people possibly can get unsub from you when you start putting the shit, the shit on the channel. They're going to be like, what the fuck? I ain't sub to this. You know what? I think somebody did buy that other channel, but I think they came aboard and said that it wasn't beneficial because people wasn't watching them. But, that could, but, but, that, but that's the thing, though. You got to understand something. If we start a channel right now, right, and it gets 100,000 subs, right, we sell it to somebody to change the name. Right. Now, Lil Billy from the Block buys our channel. That's his name. Lil Billy from the Block on YouTube. All of a sudden, everybody notification go off and Lil Billy from the Block show up. Who the fuck is this? I didn't sign. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't uh, subscribe to this. Right. Unsubscribe. You know what I'm saying? So you got to yeah, understand. And then they gonna hear that stuff and be like, "What the hell going when, on?" When they, when they finally realize that this was the old channel, you're right. So it's like you gotta understand that why it's not why it's good to not buy old channels from people. Right. I don't care what the sub count is. Right. I don't care if it's, a, it's if somebody hit me right now and say, "I got a sub. I got a channel right now. They had a million subs on. It. I sell it to you for two hundred dollars." I'm good. And that sounds like a lick, right? I'm good, love, and joy. <laughs> but that sounds like a lick. I got a million subs. And that's and that's why we got to show y'all why a million subs doesn't matter. Because if it did matter, then you could treat that like a business. You could sell it. And see, you know, people, you know, you know, YouTubers used to do that. So people caught on that it wasn't beneficial. They used to build up channels, 500,000 subs, and build them up real fast and sell them. And I remember I had this program. You know how like um, how you got um, Social Blade and stuff? Mm -hmm. I had a program that showed you what your channel was worth. It gave you a price and showed you what your channel was worth if you wanted to sell it. Mm -hmm. But once people start realizing that, okay, this don't work because if I sell this channel, I mean, if I buy this channel, the seller always comes up. The buyer loses. Right. Because the buyer says, now, if I buy this channel, then nobody watches it. Now I'm sitting here with a channel with a million subs getting goddamn 2,000 views a video. Mm -hmm. I, okay, did this on my own. Now I lost $2,000. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Because for a, a person going to sell you a million sub channel for a pretty decent amount. You know what I'm saying? Two, two thousand, five thousand, whatever, ten thousand, whatever. They gonna sell yeah, they don't sell you that shit for a good amount. I was thinking about five, ten, k five, ten k, yeah, because they, in their mind, they think they like. I'm giving you your fan base already. You got right. a fan base, and but it's not their fan base; it's yours. And they don't understand it. And then, so people start finally realizing it and take stop selling channels because nobody was buying. Right now, Tina tried to get into the business of selling channels. Mm. And the younger YouTubers are going to realize that this is not the way to go. Now, how many people she done did like this? I don't know we don't know. But we know this one she did. This too. dude reached out to us and wanted the story out there. So we put it out there for you. Hmm. Shame on you, little girl. Shame on you. But one thing. What they say? Going to get your karma? Is that what they say? Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you. Your karma gonna come back around. You're gonna, get, you, you're gonna get karma for that. You're gonna get karma. But and, and that's just being real. When you, no matter what the case is, when you plug, when you scam somebody, it's gonna come back. I hope you enjoy that fifty dollars. Fifty fifty dollars buy you a lot of whatever you're trying to buy. A lot, a lot of shirts, candy, clothes. Candy. I'm saying, tennis still young. Know I'm saying, whatever, whatever your past shoes, whatever you're trying to buy with that fifty bucks. I hope it goes a long way because you're going to get that. Like, you can't take from people and then ignore them. And, you know what I'm saying? You can't do it like that. Because mm -hmm. it's going to hit you back. And why she going to try to come out and say, that wasn't me. No, that was your, that was your IG. Some crazy shit. Mm. That was your IG. Mm. But anyway. Y'all let us know what y'all think about this in the comment section below.
Um, he went, he, he went by my IG with uh, 200 followers. You so slow. <laughs> So come on, man. Crazy. But anyway, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and y'all share this video. And y'all, we will just catch y'all on the next video. I thought you were saying that that being said. Yeah, you say it. See, you gotta change it up sometimes. I'm over see, trying. If you, see if you paying attention. I'm over here like. Let you say this shit. Yeah. <laughs> See if you paying attention and you make sure you're not mocking me. Mm.